how are we <laughs> i've noted every time i try and start a video then a huge train just passes and it just doesn't stop <laughs> anyway how are we i hope you're well Konsa Kija here inspire yg is my page now if you're coming in for the first time welcome thank you for popping in um and uh if you've subscribed already thank you so much and thank you for coming back appreciate it i don't take it for granted um how have you been hope you've been well i have been how have i been <laughs> up, up and down so um this week was one of those i mean i'm not sure what's happening but i mean i'm in sydney we are on total lockdown obviously because of covid there has been a bit of spread in the community and now we are back to lockdown and <laughs> being an essential worker it doesn't help either because yeah it's not fun working in a mask for eight hours <laughs> so i mean i'm not complaining but i'm just feeling like i'm not even like i'm a homebody I really don't feel like I have any business complaining about lockdown, but it's just that, it's just that feeling of knowing you are not free, whether or not you want to partake in that freedom. <laughs> I don't know what I'm, you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying, right? Um, yeah, there goes the train. It likes to accompany me. But what I'm saying is, sometimes you don't mind having the freedom, even when you're not using it, freedom of doing anything. But when that freedom is taken away, that's when you're like, oh, I needed that freedom. It's like when when you have uh, <laughs> you have something in your life and then you take it for granted. Or you have someone in your life and then you take them for granted. And then they're no longer there. That's when it hits home. Right? That part. Now, <laughs> I didn't come here to talk about COVID. The news is already doing that job. I am here to talk about something I've been thinking about um over this weekend and i'm talking about over this weekend right now as i speak it's what time it's 8 45 in sydney australia um but what did i do with my weekend i undid my hair yes there you go i i undid it i'm very happy because <laughs> i feel like my head can breathe now um it's the hardest job to undo braids, especially when they, are, they were so long. I really was craving for those long braids. Um, and I can't believe I've been in the house and my phone is about to die. Let me charge it. <laughs> um, but what was I saying before I rudely interrupted myself? That um, I, I enjoy undoing braids. I wish it was a job. There are two jobs I love. I love undoing braids and I love doing dishes. If they were professional jobs, I'll probably be doing them because why not? It's good to make a living out of what you like. Isn't that what fashion is? <laughs> but that's it. I sat down and, you know, listened to a couple of podcasts and, and then undid my hair. Obviously, it took me a couple of, couple of hours, but... I was so happy when I finished. I was like, wow, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, so I was going to talk about goals. Yeah, I just thought about, I feel like since COVID happened, obviously COVID started 2019, December, and I came back from Kenya. I had gone back to Kenya for two months in 2019. And when I was there, I was fighting. You know, when you have like a battle within, like I was fighting on this. Do I go back to Australia or do I actually stay back home? Like <laughs> East West home is the best. I'm sorry, Australia is home, but Kenya is, is home first. And I honestly was contemplating on not coming back. But it's just that it, when you go home, it just feels like, yes, this is where I need to be. But then you look at your goals and you look at the things you want to achieve and then you look at the stage. I mean, the goals you want to achieve and and where you're at and you feel like you can meet them. 
and honestly to be in to be honest i didn't feel like the goals i wanted to achieve i would have achieved them in kenya but i really yeah i i was really <laughs> contemplating to a point where i missed my flight mm, that's the story of another day but um that said i have been very very um blessed i would say because i think you know when you were young and you have been like dreams and things you want to achieve i had dreams in my early 20s and um honestly speaking i sat down and i looked at all the dreams that i had in my early 20s and i have ticked all of them and i just thought wow see why we always talk about um the importance of gratitude and and how it's good to have a heart of gratitude it's because sometimes you we we always focus on those dreams that we want to achieve that we haven't achieved yet and then we forget those that we have actually achieved and i wrote down a couple of goals that i had in my late 20s i won't even say early 20s because i don't even know in my early 20s whether i was dreaming <laughs> but in my late 20s so 25 and above which was probably the year i around the time i decided to come to come abroad for studies the specific uni i wanted to go to i i i just got a letter of offer you know after trying and trying and trying and um and then i got a letter another letter of offer to actually change my course and i think that was a very monumental period in my life because i was like wow this happened <laughs> you know that's a dream i had and it was attained i also had a dream of finishing uni to be honest as an international student you go through you know bounce of moments where you feel like ah, can i actually do this it it, it gets so hard <laughs> Especially towards the end, like third year, fourth year, it's like, yeah, it's just so hard. And if you're, if if you really didn't want it, like if you are forced, let's say your folks forced you to come to go abroad and study, third year and fourth year will cha will challenge you big time. <laughs> like you are going to second guess yourself whether that degree was your dream or their dream. So yeah i mean finishing uni to me was an achievement because i've been looking forward to that and I, it, it kept feeling like taking forever especially when people ask you ah you never finished uni when will you finish like <laughs> jay melissa shule and it makes you feel like you are like 92 going to 94. <laughs> i mean okay i had a dream of going to the united uh united kingdom no i didn't I had a dream of going to the United Nations headquarters and why I had a dream of going to the United Nations was I've always wanted to work for the UN especially UN women oh somebody from the UN women if you see this please <laughs> the dream is still there but I had a dream of working with the UN because I felt like my personal dreams and my personal goals are always intertwined with the UN with the United Nations you know goals and dreams and mission and vision and all that kind of stuff like I mean the United Nations so the dream is obviously to make the world livable you know what I mean like better than the way we are right now um, and I feel like you know things like thinking about my all-time passion which is I mean, having a world where there's quality education for all, like equality and, and, and equity when it comes to children, especially young people, accessing quality education. That's like one of my, um, I know they have sustainable goals. I think that's what they call them. And yeah, one of my huge passion is that, like, like all kids can have accessibility to quality education, but also, you know, kids cannot study if they are if they're hungry so you also have to think about you know provision of uh, food and and food that is you know balance balanced diet so it, all these things are important and I've always had that dream but I managed to get um, to get to the United Nations headquarters in um, Thailand Bangkok in 2018 
that was amazing it was an amazing experience i'll probably do another video and talk about that experience in depth but for today i was just gonna say that's one of the dream i achieved and i really really was happy about it my other dream was going to the vatican city i mean it's the world's smallest country inside not inside of anything i mean it's <laughs> literally you, you take picture this is a road your leg what your la one leg can be in rome and the other leg is in vatican <laughs> and they're both two different countries it's, it's really funny but i was so excited at how beautiful the vatican city is and how uh, well i don't know if you if you live there or work there please let me know whether this is true but i understand people in the vatican city don't pay tax and i mean it's so beautiful the place is just magnificent for lack of a better word and i could i could go there a thousand times and never get tired and um i was so excited that i went there twice i climbed all the way to the dome all the way to the top and i took a couple of nice pictures i'll probably share some of them here but it was one of the most profound experiences and especially and also i got to meet pope francis I took a selfie with him <laughs> well what would have looked like a selfie but he was literally just next to me looks like cool pips yeah um yeah those are some of the dreams i i have achieved now one of the dreams i have major dreams now between now and in the next decade right which i'll be going to fourth fourth floor i'm now in third floor right so i've achieved my dreams on um, my of my uh, my 20s and now i'm in my 30s sorry and i have dreams to achieve before i'm in my 40s some of these dreams are so huge I don't doubt they will happen, but I can't even speak them out. Like I can't speak them out because I just feel like, you know, there's a story in the Bible where someone got thrown in a pit because of speaking their dreams. <laughs> so I'll keep those between myself and my creator, but you know, they involve studying. I haven't stopped studying. Um, never too old to learn. <laughs> you are never too old to learn. I've got 90 year olds who learn every day. They challenge me. So you're never too old to learn. So doing my postgrad, and it's not even going to be in Australia. My dreams are huge. So you better dream huge. Please don't um, downgrade the capacity. Now, the other thing I want to talk about before I I stop this, obviously I said one of my dreams I want to achieve is doing my post my postgrad and also giving back, and especially to children young people in the realm of education um but one thing i wanted to say was this i got this revelation this morning if you have something you're thinking about it could be anything it could be what something you want to study something you want to get for yourself um maybe you want to travel i mean talking about travel in the middle of a pandemic like it, it doesn't matter even if you want to travel you we're not going to be in a pandemic forever everything with a start has an end so i am very positive that even this will come to an end it doesn't matter how long it takes eventually it will go so the dream you had the dream you had whether it's to study abroad whether it's to travel whether it's to build a house whether it's to buy a car in my world there's no dream that is off off bounds like anything is achievable as long as you're thinking about it now why i say that is because think about it if you are saying that you want to be a pilot that means in your world all you see are airplanes flights um maybe you're thinking about airports like you cannot dream of being a pilot and then start dreaming with boats and, and cars and bicycles <laughs> you know what i mean like it's almost like what you're seeing you're seeing it for the, for a reason see i've never dreamt um being a sailor because i have no dreams of being a sailor i've never dreamt of being um you know <laughs> what are the dreams out there <laughs> never been i've never dreamt of being a doctor that's why i'm not one today because what you dream of or what you think about that actually means you have the capacity to achieve it you only it's almost like what you think about is in line with with your with your destiny especially if you work at it like you don't just dream and then eat donuts 
sit down you you dream and then you work at it like you look at how one of the ways i can achieve this you try and meet up with people who have who have achieved that which you want to achieve or link up with people who are like-minded people who have gone the same direction you want to go or who have been there and have, have succeeded and just before you know it you've achieved your dreams so i'm here to tell you don't give up on your dreams um it doesn't matter who you are we are under the sun and the sun shines on everyone when the, when it rains it rains on everyone okay god bless you it's another week please go out there and be great all right if you haven't subscribed please do if you haven't um watched any of any of my other videos please go and watch them <laughs> share them with your friends and uh let's achieve our dreams man you only live once yellow cheers bye